so chapter one is a brief, broad introduction to statistics. So our first section is going to be about what is statistics in general. Here are learning objectives. You can also find these in the text. So what is statistics? So statistics is the science of the collection, analysis, interpretation, and presentation of data. That's what statistics is when it's a science. Statistics specifically are also the data that we collect. Those could be numbers, those could be um, other information that is categorical. We're gonna talk about that later. And that statistic, we can take that data and summarize something. So for example, the average American is five foot six, right? The world's population is 48.6% women, right? And we can see statistics everywhere. They're on the news, the TV, the internet. Some of them are fake, and we're going to show you how to identify those in this course. And we can collect statistics on lots of things, education, health, sports, uh, finance. It's up to you and your interests. So how does statistics work? So the goal of statistical research is to gain specific information about a population being studied. Now, it's important to note that when I say population, it doesn't necessarily mean people, right? I could be studying a population of plants or a group of local businesses like a McDonald's franchise. The population in a statistical study is the complete set of people or things being studied. So if I wanted to study college students, my population would be every single college student in the United States. That's a really big population. If I wanted to study statistics about McDonald's, I'd have to take a look at every single McDonald's in the world. And there are McDonald's in other countries. They have different things on the menu, it's weird. So population parameters are specific characteristics of a population. So like I said, if we looked at the population of people, a population parameter about people is that like there's 48.6% of women. So that's pretty interesting as well. So when we have a population, we're going to find a parameter about it. So the population is what we want to study, right? That's going to be a collection of people, things, objects, plants, trees, whatever you're interested in, cars, that would work too. Here's a problem though. <laughs> if we want to study, for example, college students. I couldn't possibly study every single college student, right? There are way, way too many. And because of that, we need to take a sample. A sample is a smaller subset or proportion of the larger population. And what we do is we study that sample in order to gain information about our entire population. So for my dissertation, I was looking at non-traditional students who were affected by COVID-19, and I couldn't talk to every single non-traditional student. Non-traditional students are over 25, got a GED, or returning to college after a break. So I took a subset, and I only interviewed 12 for my study. And I can gather information about that group and hopefully push that to be a population parameter. Oops. Here's the thing though. When we take a subset of our population, we need to make sure that we get a representative sample, right? If I wanted to study the average heights of people in college, I wouldn't only pick members of the basketball team, right? That wouldn't be a very representative sample, right? I also wouldn't select only freshman girls who are probably gonna be shorter. A main concern of statistics is how accurately a statistic estimates a parameter, right? So our sample has to be representative of our population we're studying in order to have our statistic estimate the population parameter. Oh, so like I said, when studying the population of college students, we wouldn't want to only select um, women or freshmen or just biology majors, right? That wouldn't be representative of all students. Um, you can pick representative samples uh, by um, picking members randomly from a population. And we're gonna go over sampling methods, I think in section 1.2. So a sample is a subset of the population from which our data are actually 
can obtain data referring to any information about a population. And we're going to dive into that later too. The raw data are the actual measurements or observations we collected from the sample. So if we were collecting people's height, that would be five foot four, my height, five foot seven, six foot, right? And then we would use that raw data to calculate a sample statistic, such as taking the average um, or finding the mean. We're going to talk about all those things as this course goes on. The mean is the same thing as the average. Maybe I should have said median. 